Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Let me just shut the bathroom door. So I am so sorry I've been away for like most of Christmas and stuff like that. It's just been a very crazy time for me and I also just kind of needed the time off. I am back now. I am probably only going to be uploading every two weeks if that's alright with you because if you didn't know, um, if you're new to my channel, I'm a student at Oxford University. Um, and finals are coming up and I would love to upload every week but I just know that it's not going to be sustainable so welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a vlog it's currently north week which is the week before term starts my birthday is tomorrow I'm 22 tomorrow I have an intensive Spanish course <laughs> on my birthday and on Wednesday and an exam on my birthday as well and on Wednesday and on Thursday so it's a bit of a busy week work wise I also have a lot of work that I need to get done this week in time for term so I thought I'd bring you along with me because I think it will be a nice week because there will be birthday celebrations but equally it's going to be a week of quite hard work and kind of like yeah it's just a good week to vlog basically so it is currently at half past nine I'm a bit later than I kind of planned this morning but that's honestly fine so I'm gonna head to the library now and I'm gonna finish an essay that I started yesterday I've written two-thirds of it so all I need to do is finish it tidy it up and basically that's the plan before lunch but I will take you along with me and let's just get straight into the work because that's what I need to be doing right now honestly so I headed on out downstairs, they are actually fixing the lift at the moment which is very exciting and heading on out, head, heading on out, <laughs> headed on out into town. I actually went to the Beer Harmsworth Library which is an American studies library, it's super cool, very modern, very like, it's just a really light and airy workspace, I really really actually enjoy working in there but at the moment, oh my god, it's so cold. Like, it's so cold in there because they have to open windows because of COVID. Like, I forgot how cold it was. But as you can see, I've got my essay plan, I've got my reading. I honestly was really happy with how quickly I kind of just wrote this essay. I really need to get that energy and just stop over going over things and being too much of a perfectionist. So I honestly just sat down, went through this at the speed of, of light, genuinely just writing what came into my head and things like that so, so as not to stress myself too much. Here is me about 10 minutes into being there, just like actually freezing. Um, and yeah, I ended up being about two and a half thousand words, which wasn't too bad for me. It wasn't the best essay I've ever written, but it's fine. I mean, I did some vocab as well on Quizlet before heading on into town. Um, it was still really quiet at this time of the week because people hadn't quite come back yet, but it, I just really enjoy walking in town and I went and got a Boots meal deal, very, very exciting. And then for the afternoon, I headed to Common Ground. I was gonna stay there till six, but unfortunately it closed, um, but I was just doing some reading for my special subject, which is my essay portfolio, which I have to do this term, which is kind of like a dissertation equivalent thing. Then I headed back. Hey everyone, so annoyingly I went to work at Common Ground and then I realised that it shut at like four, not six at the moment because of like staff shortages, which is fine. But then I came back and like I told everyone I'd be back at six and like everyone was just like running around all secretly. So people were in my room, like people were like in the kitchen, like there was stuff everywhere and I was basically just ordered to stand there while they moved everything. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. Um, I... I'm not gonna spoil my own surprise, but yeah, I'm, I'm now just gonna do an hour and a half work here, like just at my desk and also plan some YouTube stuff and then cook some dinner um, with the flat and just chill. So let's do it. Because we're all about keeping it real on this channel, literally within like two minutes of me filming that clip, I just got completely like panicked. <laughs> no idea why. And like, I just feel like I'm gonna cry, so. Rather than like going on to do some readings, I think readings just gonna be too much. I'm gonna do a past paper question because I know that I actually enjoy like doing the translations and stuff. So yeah, just to keep it real on this channel because I've had a really good day like in terms of productivity. I think just coming back and everybody just like, it was just quite frantic. And I think sometimes that can just set my brain off a little bit. So past paper question is, I'm gonna put some chilled music on um, and, and just try and do it best I can and I've put some lavender in my uh, oil diffuser so hopefully that will help too. <laughs> popping in here because it's now time to cook dinner and this video is actually very kindly sponsored by the wonderful people over at HelloFresh. So now that the nights have drawn in so much and it gets dark so early and I'm back at university, I'm constantly busy, I've got work up to my ears and quite frankly food is always the last thing on my mind at the end of the day. For me I really struggle sometimes with meal planning and making sure that I'm eating well, eating nutritious food, 
but also not taking up too much of my time in the evenings that I should be using for either working or relaxing after a long day of work. And that is where HelloFresh comes in. If you don't know who HelloFresh are, then get to know, because honestly, if you're like me and you're a busy student, or you've got a family, or you work really long hours, or you're just not that great with meal planning, this will be an absolute lifesaver for you. It's super, super easy to use. So basically how it works is every week you go on their website and you can pick from an absolutely massive range of different recipes, whether that's veggie recipes, plant-based recipes, quick and easy ones for those nights where you know that you're not gonna have much time, premium recipes for when you wanna treat yourself or family-friendly ones that even your kids will love. What I love about it is how flexible it is. So you can pick between two to four recipes each week and for up to five people. So if you've got guests coming over that week or you're away for a portion of the week, it's really easy to change the box to fit your needs for that individual week and just take all of the stress and the hassle away. So in terms of recipes that I chose for tonight, I picked one of the premium ones because we wanted to treat ourselves a little bit as it's the first night of the week. And it was genuinely amazing. It was like salmon with some amazing chive butter, roasted potatoes, roasted vegetables, and and it just got all the food groups in whilst also just having a bit of a fancier feel but it was so quick and easy to make and we'll definitely be definitely be picking that one again and I also picked a dal because I I cannot resist a dal and I also got one of the chicken stir fries for two of my other flatmates to try because they were also really keen to get in on the fun and honestly it's been such a great week just trying out all these new different recipes and it has taken so much stress away. As you will see in this vlog, this week has been incredibly stressful for all of us really and so having those three recipes that we knew that we could cook each night has been an absolute godsend. So once you've picked your recipes, they'll send the exact amount of food that you need freshly sourced direct to your door. So not only are you saving yourself time and worry, but you're also helping minimize food waste, which if you're a uni student, you'll know is very common with things just going off in the fridge. That's not gonna happen with HelloFresh. So the wonderful people over at HelloFresh have actually hooked me up with a discount code for you guys to get a discount off your first few boxes. If you use the code Chef Bennett, which will be on the screen and in the description along with the link, then you can get 50% off your first box as well as 35% off your next three boxes. So so not only do you get to try a load of new recipes, save yourself time, save yourself stress, but you're also getting a discount as well. So it's a win-win-win situation. <laughs> Thank you so much to the wonderful people over at HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. I really am grateful and I've honestly loved trying out the recipes this week. The discount code and the link will be down in the description if you want to go and check HelloFresh out, which I seriously recommend you do. But without further ado, let's get on with the rest of the vlog. Everyone, so it is my birthday. It's 22. Oh my God. Sadly, I'm spending the whole day, well, the whole morning, at least until like three doing an intensive Spanish course. <laughs> so that's why I've not vlogged yet this morning because I literally got up and started this course. But I'm gonna go, I've got a 15 minute break now and apparently the girls have done the kitchen up for me. So I'm very excited to see and like everyone's sending me messages and stuff and I'm just sat here trying to pretend that I care about Spanish and, and I, I just don't, I just don't. Anyway, happy birthday to me, yeah. lie to you all I'm gonna be brutally honest with you that was literally the worst three hours like I just it was so fast I couldn't process any of it like I genuinely was just I completely zoned out and my shoulders have just completely tensed up and by the end I genuinely had to leave because I was like this is genuinely stress it was just too fast like I couldn't process any of what was going on so I've just gone and had some quick lunch and now I have to quickly write a speaking presentation sorry um now I have to quickly write a speaking presentation because I've got a speaking exam in an hour but then I think some of us are gonna go into town and like just go and like spend the day. Because I was gonna work this afternoon, but I know for a fact that's not gonna happen because there's lift repairs going on and I am tired and that just was not the vibe. So I'm gonna do this presentation now and then have a shower and head out. And now the birthday celebrations actually be in because that was not enjoyable. Anyway, pouring a line under that section of the day because that was thoroughly not enjoyable. I've just had a shower. Gonna get ready and we're gonna head into town for a little bit, which I think is just what I need. Birthday's back on, people. I it went fine, but I'd, it was the it was the least fruitful thing I think I've done in my whole time. Oxford, people, it was just so rushed. So solid. Nice to know that my nine grand is going to good use. <laughs> Day. so just got back from the pub and now we've ordered a massive Chinese I'm so excited I'm so excited I could cry it's gonna be literally this is this is my idea of a dream birthday pub Chinese and a movie 
amazing. I'm so sorry Ugh, literally this intensive course is just I'm not thriving anyway so basically I woke up this morning genuinely at quarter to ten because I was like I actually can't do this all we did last night was have a Chinese and watch Legally Blonde it was perhaps the most chilled birthday I think I've ever had which was amazing anyway I've got this course from ten till one and then I actually have a tutorial because I had to write an essay this week which you saw earlier in the vlog um, so I've got a tutorial for that essay, even though term hasn't started yet. Um, and then I, this afternoon, I really need to sort out my timetable. I'm so sorry I barely left college this week, but it will pick up towards the end of the vlog. But yeah, basically today is like a lot of admin. I've got a collection tomorrow, I've got an exam tomorrow. I need to sort that out. Do you know what though, I've got to say? Like, I have, if this was first year me, like I would be in a ball on the floor crying right now. And yeah, I just actually don't. <laughs> it's kind of bad, but I just really, I have lost the the like mental capacity to be able to to care about collections or exams and stuff like that obviously main exams i do care about but yeah uh priorities i suppose anyway i've got a three minute gap till my next class so i'm gonna try and like get ready because i didn't even get ready this morning like genuinely all i've done is put some clothes on and when i say clothes i mean a big baggy jumper so yeah class is done i'm ready for the day and i'm gonna go make myself some lunch and then i have a tutorial um, so yeah, we're going, it's all systems go basically. All systems go, but I'm so glad that that is done. I'm so glad. Hey guys, so I just had my chew and I'm pretty sure that my, my chew gave me a birthday present. She was like, oh, I picked this up the other day and I thought you'd like it. She has a few of them, I think, but basically just got a birthday present from my tutor. How freaking sweet is that? That has genuinely made my day, like, and I'm feeling a lot better about term now, I think, because I realised that it's just not worth wasting your energy, you know what I mean? It's just not worth it. So we're just walking through the park. Say hi. Hi. I look a bit <laughs> me shy. shoving the camera. <laughs> oh my I goodness. I won't do that. Sorry. I'm not, guys. I'm not like that normally. Um, we we're just having a conversation, and I actually want to start not start a war in the comments, but I want to know what you guys think. Ever since I've gone pescatarian, I say pescatarian like I don't know why I've just put like yeah pescatarian. Don't eat me. Um, I've realised that Burger King is actually better in terms of vegan vegetarian options, and these guys agree in terms of fries. Would you say that Burger King fries are also... I mean, they're definitely as good. Like, where would you rate Burger King versus McDonald's? That's what I'm saying. I mean, overall, I don't really care for either, but... I like the Vegan Royale in Burger King. That's oh, nice. that mm. is good stuff. I do think the chips are good. So, if, if tomorrow, gun to your head, somebody said to you, you have to pick one for the rest of your life... It would be it, McDonald's. It would still be McDonald's. McDonald's. It would still be, but... But why? Because I like the breakfast. I don't know. Right, valid mm. point. So, guys, comment down below. Simplicity sometimes, I don't know. You can't beat what? Simplicity. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Where... Do you like McDonald's hash browns? Do <gasps> you want to give those up? Guys, this debate has been blown wide open. <laughs> um, so, I would pick McDonald's for breakfast, but I would pick Burger King for everything else. So, comment down below where I you lie. So brave. Are wow. you Team McDonald's, Team Burger King, or Team KFC? Obviously not as, as, as someone that doesn't eat meat. I know I've said this a million times now, as someone that doesn't eat meat. <laughs> I'm not Team KFC, really. But their vegan chicken burger is quite good. Mm. But Burger King wins on the options. It's a gravy for me. I they have cancelled it, but then they've reinstated... Oh, the gravy. Mm. But the gravy's not vegetarian. Anyway. No, I'm so sorry. Lots of, lots, of, lots of things for you guys to think about there. So just let me know in the comments what you think. And um, I look forward to having a fruitful discussion with you all. Goodbye.
rehabilitation work has been underway, people, to fix our cardboard cutouts because Seb destroyed them in a drunken rage last term. <laughs> and now look at them. They look so happy. Our three boys. And I feel so happy. The most important three boys in the flat. <laughs> Aww. You mean the men? The men. Our men. The yes. Only, the only men in the flat. <laughs> the only men in the flat. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So, I've just cooked a dinner and I have done my timetable. So, my timetable is all sorted for this term. And I'm now going to the pub with my friends Amy and Hannah. We're just going to go for a quick catch up. Got my new sweatshirt on very happy with this one um not gonna put any makeup on or anything just very very casual very boring fit um but yeah today's been quite a long day and tomorrow's quite a long day so i think nice g and nice catch up with friends gonna put some music on head into town and yeah it's gonna be great so let's go <laughs> Keeping it real on this channel, as per. I have a collection, I have an exam. They've just emailed me the paper now. Um, honestly, <laughs> just come out of having a panic attack, so not, um, not exactly thriving. Uh, and it came out of complete nowhere. I just didn't sleep very well last night. But, you know, it's fine. I'm just gonna have to do this collection. I don't really have a choice. So, I'll hopefully update you when I'm feeling a bit more chipper. Well, yeah, as you can tell, I've literally not even... Uh, I'm, I'm just going to go. Collection. Ooh. <laughs> Hello, everyone. So, it's quite a few hours later now. I managed to get through the collection. Um, not fantastically, if I'm honest, but I, taught, I took, like, it was a three-hour exam. And I gave myself two and a half because I took the first half an hour to like chill because it's a translation paper you don't need like the full time really like you do you can use it but like it's okay to not so that was all right and then I had to lie down and I've eaten like a nutritious lunch and um George's I was supposed to meet my friends for lunch today but I knew that, that probably wasn't a good idea because I just was not in a headspace to like socialize but George is going into town to go to the library so I'm going to try and go and get some of like easier work done this afternoon because I think that will definitely help rather than just sitting and stewing here so yeah I'm going to head to the Taylorian now and um I've not even wiped the mascara off my face but I feel like that adds to the look so <laughs> got back from the library and cooked a quick stir fry um which was from HelloFresh and it was so good it was so good I'll insert a clip here it's not very photogenic because I can't make things look photogenic but it was great anyway tonight I'm genuinely just editing this video that's all I'm doing and I might watch some friends and that's basically it so I shall pick you up in the morning because tomorrow is my birthday celebration day yay busy day though busy busy day Hello, hello, good morning. It's now Friday. So today is my birthday celebration day. It's currently just gone 10, as you can see. I am very zoomed in. As you can see, I've had a shower. Basically, I'm just ready to go for the day, apart from the fact that I've got my joggers on. I'm gonna do an hour or two hours of work now, finish off those translations that I was doing yesterday, send those off, um, and then I need to get some ingredients for the birthday brunch we're having tomorrow. Um, and then, yeah, we'll see where else the day takes us. But for now, let's get some work done because it's already to five past 10 and I said I was gonna start at 10. Hey guys, so I have just been working on a translation or two translations this morning. One of them I need to carry on with this afternoon, which is fine. Um, because I feel like it's going to get done today, which is all that matters. And I've just got my ticket for the LMH Ball, which we had one in the first year. And it was amazing. So I'm really lucky that because I do a four-year course, they come every three years. So I've managed to finesse that I get to go to two as an LMH student. Obviously, you can go as, like, if you're part of an LMH alumni. But, like, 
yeah I, i'm just very happy about that so me and anna are now gonna have some lunch we're gonna have a much needed catch up because i feel like i've barely seen her this week and we've just got a new oven and guys i'm actually so excited because that other oven didn't even have numbers on the dials and like they all just heated up at like different temperatures and i'm gonna treat myself to like an amazing oven cooked meal this evening <laughs> so i am off out for my birthday celebration drinks this is the look i've gone for got this top on which i got from top shop like five years ago skirt tights boots and i'm very excited yay hello everyone so typical me um just didn't film really anything for like the last bit of this vlog i don't know what i've got a few clips basically so i'm going to explain what happened and overlay the clips but basically we went to hanks like me and everyone in our flat also, I've just been to the gym, as you can probably tell, which is why I'm looking a bit a bit worse for wear. But we went to Hank's, and it was really nice. I genuinely got no clips. I got a nice group photo of us all. Um, but that's about it, really. Um, and then came back via McDonald's, of course. And this morning, we had a big birthday brunch, which was super lovely. Um, the flat, like, cooked it for me. And we just had a super nice morning together. And then we tied in the kitchen because we're having a party tonight. Um, because normally we have a bop, but college have cancelled the bops at the moment. I think they're just being on the safe side with Omicron. Um, like, they don't want it, like, the whole of college catching Omicron. But we're not having a big party, like, it's basically just us and a couple of other people. Um, uh, so we cleaned the kitchen, went to the gym, and now I'm back here and I've just put my laundry on. Today's very much an admin day, like, I'm gonna tidy my room, I'm gonna edit this video, like, all of this sort of stuff. You're, li you're literally watching this like three hours before this video is going live so um yeah i thought i'd do a quick little birthday haul to end the video um because it is quite a short vlog by my standards and i thought i'd show you like what everyone got me so from my dad i got a bottle of violet bow gin which is one of my favorite gins of all time um gin is a very prevalent theme um but i think i will be needing it a lot this term because it's it can't be stressful it's gonna be very stressful um I got a one for all voucher from one of my grandparents and from another grandparent I got this really cute little like drinks prep tray. I need to find somewhere in my room that I can make a cute little alcohol shelf because I didn't have an alcohol shelf in Michaelmas because I was trying to not drink as much but I'm not condoning alcohol for stress but like I'm just gonna leave that there. From Molly I got two packs of minstrels. There's now only one. Um, and she also got me some film for my film camera. And she also got me a bottle of Bombay Sapphire, which is out on the table because I'll be drinking it tonight at the party. But Molly, thank you so much. The bottle is beautiful and I'm definitely going to use it for flowers as well. It's my favourite gin ever. If you're ever, if you're ever in my life and you want to get me a gift, just get me a bottle of Bombay Sapphire and I'll be happy with that. Um, I also got some really funny cards. Taylor Swift, Taylor Slow. And I also have one that said Colin Firth Day. But that is on my notice board already because I loved it that much. Or the boys got me a you are 100% that birthday bitch card. Um, from the flat, I got like a few different gifts. So I got <laughs> this Ronan Keating CD, which is hilarious because I have like a weird love-hate relationship with Ronan Keating. Like I love his like sort of hits but like he really kind of bugs me for like no reason so they got me a cd which i think is hilarious because they tried to get it me on vinyl and then it came as a cd um and it's just funny because i don't even have a cd player in my car but it's genuinely one of my favorite presents purely for that reason just makes me laugh also got me um two of the the two billy joel vinyls that i don't have so this is stormfront um it didn't come with the cover unfortunately but that doesn't really matter and this is the nylon curtain so i was very happy with that i now have the complete billy joel collection which i'm very happy about my mom got me some nice new pjs from boo avenue um which will be super nice in the summer months i love the color of them they're so silky soft and yeah just love those she also got me some bits from the body shop i know i work with the body shop quite a lot but she just knows me so well she got me the joy and jasmine body yogurt and the kindness and pears body yogurt both of which are they're great they're honestly great if you haven't tried the body yogurts i'd really recommend them they're literally so good um i love how quickly they absorb on the skin and i don't really use the body butters anymore because i just love these so much she also got me two shower gels and some lip balms as well, which will be super helpful because my lips are so dry at the moment. It is insane. Um, she's also got me, basically we're going to New York for my what was my 21st birthday present. Um, was tickets to see Billy Joel at Madison Square Garden. So 
she's gonna buy me some merch while we're there as well which is kind of like what I mainly asked for but I'm really appreciative that she got me some little bits and bobs because it always makes me smile when you just people think of you and appreciate you and just know you so well you know um and then from the flat as well um they did like a big group present thing which i thought was really sweet um they got me uh, this candle from and other stories which if uni are watching i won't be burning in this room um some film for my instax mini because as you can tell by my wall and by the wall in the kitchen we have a lot of polaroids and we take a lot of polaroids and they also got me which is genuinely so sweet like a photo album that I can put the, the put the Polaroids in. Like when we finish term, like uni, I'm gonna have like loads of Polaroids sort of left over. So I'm gonna put them all in this album. And running with the theme of the fact that everybody got me gin for my birthday, the girls decided it would be good to get me something to do with the gin. So they got me a little gin cocktail book, which I will definitely be making a lot of use of this term. And they got me some gin glasses. I was saying that I didn't have any nice gin glasses and I saw these ones in John Lewis and I said to Georgia, oh, they're so nice. They're exactly the sort of gin glasses I would want and, and they got me them. Um, I think that was pretty much everything that I got, but I'm honestly so, so happy and grateful for everything. And I just had like such a nice like birthday week. It was super chilled, super low key, but yeah, super grateful. Anyway, I'm gonna go because I'm looking really worse for wear right now. So I'll hand over to Eve from the past, who's now gonna end this vlog. I don't know, from Eve from Thursday maybe? Anyway, goodbye. That concludes this vlog. I really, really hope you've enjoyed it. It's definitely been a bit of a roller coaster of a vlog, I know, but I feel like it was a very good representation of how this week has gone for me and how the rest of term probably will go for me. So I'm sorry if you're going to be sad that I'm only uploading once every two weeks, but you'll probably have seen from this week why it's all just a little bit much already and we've not even got into the real swing of things. Thank you so much to the wonderful people over at HelloFresh for sponsoring this vlog. As I said, it really, really made this week a million times easier and I'm definitely going to be ordering some HelloFresh boxes throughout this term to make sure that I'm still eating well whilst all of the stress is going on. And as I said, if you use the code Chef Bennett, which will be on screen and in the description down below, then you can get 50% off your first box and 35% off your next three boxes. So I really encourage you to go and try them out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below because I'll be replying to comments throughout the weekend and yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye guys. Mwah.